Nicole Galerie, from the very beginning, has represented uh, artists of African descent. First of all, the Haitian artists are from, Afri from African descent. And then I came to this, I began the gallery the first year I represented Margaret Burroughs, the director of the museum, the Sable Museum. I had an exhibition for Jean Spivey Gilchrist, Jonathan Green, they are all great artists now. And uh, later on, in 1988, I began representing the Shona sculptors, the, some African, other African artists. The Shona sculptors are from Zimbabwe. And then I began representing artists from uh, Nigeria, artists from, Sa from South Africa. So it's been a journey with African artists, even though I represent some other artists as well. But the gallery has represented a large number of uh, African artists. represent the co-creators of the universe. This is the most uh, powerful ceremonial banner because it represented, it represents the creator. Okay, uh, this flag was made uh, probably in the years of the, in the 70s. And uh, we came with it to Chicago in 1983. It was purchased from, from the curator of the museum who was selling them for the priest who made them. This one was made by a priest by the name of Clotaire Basile. Clotaire Basile was really the first person who began spreading those flags in the uh, Haitian, uh, you know, in the Haitian community. Clotaire Basile was, is, uh, maybe he's alive, I don't know, I haven't heard. He was in Florida at the, at the last time I heard. Clotaire Basile made so many flags, and he was the person that started the whole thing of ceremonial banners. Be before the curator of the museum went to the, to see his temple, the temple of Clotaire Basile, nobody knew about the flags except the vaudouisants. And so Clotaire Basile is very, he's a, he was the catalyst, so to speak, because he was the one selling the flag. After the curator visited Clotaire Basile temple and discovered the flag, he said, Oh my goodness, those are beautiful. Can you make some for the museum gift shop? And Clotaire Basile say, oh yes. And that's how it all began. And then now people from all over this country and other countries have ceremonial banners. And this one is my favorite because of what it represents. The, the, the two, the two serpents represent the two serpents represent uh, Dambala and Aida Wedo. Aida and Dambala are the co-creators. And then in the center there is an M. The M stands for mistress because the mistress is uh, 
Er Julie, Er Julie is the mistress also of Dambala, of Ogun, of other deities. And uh, the heart naturally symbolizes love. And the Voodooists believe that love is the hub of the universe. And so that's the true Voodooist. And in the, over here, over here is a star. That's the star of Er Julie. And then here is the horn of the ram. The ram symbolizes a, a great deal because he, it was the ram, the ram symbolizes loyalty. Loyalty and uh, a, Loyalty and what else? Uh, okay, there is an egg somewhere. There should be an egg. That symbols. I, I will get my act together. Those different symbols are Masonic symbols. Because uh, Voodooism has is a mixture of uh, of uh, Catholicism, and, uh, Catholicism, Masonic, Indians, and Africans. So you find all those uh, different symbols in the ceremonial banners, and this flag certainly has some of them. For example, you see those are Masonic symbols. And uh, that's what I remember about this flag. The, why, why the flag? Why is the flag on, in silk? On silk. The, the, first of all, he put all the sequins. The sequins on silk. The, all the flags practically are made with sequins and silk because they are there to entice the spirits to honor the ceremonies with their presence. And so the more beautiful the ceremonial banners are, the more the spirits are enticed. What else? Okay, the symbols are called veve. The vevets are the symbols that you see that, that make up the flags. And what else? I think that's about it for the moment. This is a book of African American artists, a history of African American artists. I think uh, uh, William Carter, an artist from Chicago also, whose work is at the Art Institute of Chicago. He yeah, has been part of my gallery since 1987 as well, because he was the one who introduced me to, to Alan Strangfellow. So those two artists, plus the three others that I mentioned, plus about 24 women artists of African descent, have have participated in a show that I had for four consecutive years called uh, the, the Women Show, the condi condition, condition, 